Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Be As For Build. I'm Chris. Today, in this episode, we are going to be going over the Rocket Bunny Wide Body Kit Part 2. Uh, we're going to go through the whole installation. In our last episode, we cut some fenders rear and front, and we test fitted the uh, the bigger pieces of the, bun uh, the Rocket Bunny Kit with the uh, front fenders and the rear fenders. This time, we're going to do front fenders, rear fenders, uh, and the bumper pieces and then in another episode we'll do side skirts and the front spoiler <clears throat> So one thing I wanted to show you guys in another in a previous episode We cut the rear fender and we said okay cut through the two skins But I actually just learned and when I say two skins, I mean the outer metal and the inner metal metal for the fender um, and I just learned something pretty cool. So I wanted to show you guys this Okay, so here we are on the passenger side fender and These need to be cut out a couple inches above to give the wheel room to travel um, outside the frame and in the previous one we cut through this is the outer skin we cut through this and we cut through this with one kind of big stroke of the body saw the second time i came through and i just cut the outside skin and i, I wanted to tell people and i'd seen other people do it with the cutting through both of them at once um, and i wanted to uh, tell everybody else that there's a better way to do this because when you cut through both of them now you got to come up with some sort of material to bridge this gap so you don't get water in here well when you leave this inner skin fully intact there's just a couple spot welds here holding this on so I'm gonna bend those and I'm gonna pop those off. Now I'm gonna take my cutting saw and I'm gonna cut some uh, some lines in here so this metal can flex. And then I'll bend this out and bridge that gap with those. And then I can come back in with a tack welder or you could use fiberglass filler, um, anything you wanted to do to attach these two skins to each other to keep the water out. Now your, your uh, mud flap, your mud guard, is gonna keep a lot of this moisture out as well. But you, you, know, you wanna have a backup. You don't want anything to come up and then back down and into the frame of your car. Anyways, doing this was uh, a lot better and I'm gonna have this metal to work with and uh, I don't have to come up with some other type of fancy solution. Now on the other side, let me show you what it looks like if you cut both of them. Here's our other side. And when you cut both of them, we just have this and it ends and we go to this. So now I gotta come up with some real cool way to fill this uh, slot, which I still haven't figured out. And we're just gonna gloss over that for the episode today. All right, so that was a quick pro tip on fender cutting. I'm gonna cut the rest of that fender and then we'll start putting the thing on the rocket bunny thing on the bunny of the rockets and the wideness and the, all the goodness that's fucking dumb and so where i'm at now i need to put the rear bumper on and then i'm gonna put the front over fenders and the rear over fenders on the car so Try and get the bumper on with the quickness, that way I can get that those things at least on today. All right, rear bumper's on. It's gonna need to be trimmed in the same way that we trimmed the um, fender, but I'm gonna do that after I put the uh, larger over fenders on. So next up, I'm gonna run down to the basement and grab our Rocket Bunny Wide Buddy over fenders for the front and the rear. All right, I got our uh, rear over fender here and I got our rivet gun and our trusty aluminum rivets. Just kidding, aluminum. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rivet this one to the car. Exciting times, been waiting to do this for a long time. Well, that was a little bit of bad timing. The camera battery died, uh, but I think I captured all the footage. You guys saw me just riveted this thing up. It's on there. It's on there really good. Uh, we're going to move on to the front over fender. Riveting pro tip so you don't mess up your own car. When you're pushing, when you're putting the rivet in, you naturally want to be pushing towards the car body really hard and you're clamping down on this and your, your body will build up a lot of pressure with this going towards the front of the car. When you're about to push it for the final part where it's gonna snap that rivet off, you wanna actually reverse that and start pulling backwards. Cause if you don't, what'll happen is if you're pushing forward, this thing snaps, pops off, and then your rivet gun goes into your paint job and scratches up your car. I've done it a couple times in a couple different places. So once you're about to snap that rivet off, start pulling backwards and then the rivet, hopefully rivet gun will pop back on you. All right, well that's a wrap on both the main over flares on both sides. Let me show you around.
the uh, more keen observers of you guys will probably notice that some of the rivets are missing from some of those holes. I ran out of rivets. So I'm going to run down to the hardware store. I'm going to buy more rivets. And then I'm going to button a couple more things up and then pack up tools for tonight. Tomorrow we're going to get into um, doing these things, as I said. Of course I grabbed the wrong one again. We're going to get into doing... Uh, these things which means a little more trimming of bumpers we got the front and the rear bumper that we'll be cutting up a little bit more bolting these things on and uh, finalizing that front bumper mount um, to finish up our bodywork very exciting stuff I'm super stoked to get this car buttoned up um, I'm really happy with the way it's working so I will see you guys tomorrow what's up everybody we are back for day two of our rocket bunny wide body kit install part two uh, so we're gonna start on the front first and I'm gonna be working on attaching this front bumper up to the fender and Then I'm gonna grab the uh, body saw and I'm gonna cut the pieces off of the front bumper that I need to to make room for the wheel Okay, so I've got my safe zones more or less where I want them with here and here, and I know that this area is okay, but obviously this is where it attaches the front bumper to the fender, so I don't want to cut too much of this off. I think with the uh, spacing being so tight in here, I'm just going to go ahead and jack up the car and pull the front wheel off. Okay, now i got space. No need to take the wheel off. So I'm going to grab my body saw, and I'm going to cut through this fender piece and through this bracket, and then that'll let me know how much I want to cut off of this. All right, I apologize. It's a little bit hard to see. The weather's being totally crazy right now. Um, so what we did was I cut out some of that bracket to uh, space this out and give me my wheel clearance. So now I can, uh, you know, I can throw my bumper into that bracket, <clears throat> and the bumper clips in nicely. So now I'm looking at my safe zone and what I want to cut out of it. I'm going to grab some tape to mark the line, and I'm thinking that I want to do pretty much like that. Now I'll probably not get all the way up into my safe zone, so I'm going to kind of come in here and trim out through here, and that'll give me enough space. So I'm going to refine my edge with my masking tape, come back with the body saw, and cut this off. Well, that is where I want that to go. It looks like I need to put a hole here, here, and here. And that's how it rivets to the front bumper. We got this front overflare in and installed. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the other side and do that one, and then we'll hit the back one. All right, now that we got the front done, we're moving over to the back. Uh, I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to mock up my pieces. Let's see if this is the right side. Nope. Man, I've had bad luck with that. Um, I'm going to mock up my pieces, find out where my safe zones are for cutting, and then tape something off. I think I'm going to cut about two inches off into this bumper right here. Make sure I have room for my wheel. And then this piece will lay on here just like this. And since the bumper is all mounted up and this is all stock and I'm not having to rebuild it from scratch, it's going to be a lot easier application. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to tape off the safe zone, cut it with the body saw, drill my holes and mount. All right, we got that on. Uh, this piece is sticking out a little bit extra, but I can, once I take the rear wheel off, which I'm sure I'll have to do again in the near future, I'll throw a rivet in the back of this right here, and that'll keep it tucked in. But for now, I'm just gonna leave that part there. I don't really feel like pulling the rear wheel off again. So I'm gonna move to the other side and do the other side.
Well, that sucked. Basically what happened was is the, rather than the rivet popping off, it pulled itself through the two layers of plastic, cracked my body kit, and is just sitting here now, half stuck in the body. Um, that's a bummer. I'm gonna cut this in half with my cutting saw and drill and try again. Man, I want to murder that rivet, but oh well. It's on there, it just needs to be sanded down a little bit. And while I was drilling it out, I gouged my body kit. So now I need some touch up paint. But oh well, these things happen. Um, so this little back end is flared out too. Off camera, I'm gonna think up a nice way to attach these down. I mean, I can drill it into the side of the bumper here, but then it's gonna be just as flimsy. I think I'd like to attach it to the kit itself. So I might come up through the bottom and drill up through here and attach those pieces together like that. And I think that'd be a little bit sturdier method of doing it. All right, so to solve from this piece sticking out too much, what I did was on the inner fender well, I drilled a hole through the Rocket Bunny piece into the bumper on the inside and then drilled the hole straight through, tucked this in and then shot a rivet through the back of it. So that'll hold that on. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other side and then we're all wrapped up. All right, and with that, we are done with our Rocket Bunny wide body over fender install. This was part two. If you guys want to see the prior video of when the car was blue and we did these pieces and got them test fitted, just jump back like four or five videos. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a quick wrap around like a film shot around the car and show you the car now that it's that way. Uh, what's next? Okay, what's next is this car's got to go to the dealership. I cannot diagnose the problem of why it won't start. I still haven't ever got it started. Before I go too many more steps down the road, I need to get the car started and listen to it run and, you know, other fun stuff like that. Make sure that the engine works, um, other stuff like that. So it needs to go to a dealership. So that means that there will be a little bit of downtime in the episodes. I apologize for that. Bear with me. It can't be too long. I got a dealership in town that's willing to take on this project. So hopefully they'll be able to diagnose it. It'll be something quick and we can get the car back in here and tuned up. After that, we're gonna be finishing mounting the front bumper up solid. We will be doing the side skirts and the front lip for the Rocket Bunny wide body kit. We'll be custom fabricating some parts and then we'll be jumping into the interior as well and fixing some of the other problems that need to be restored in there. So please stay tuned for that and hang in with us on the uh, downtime. We'll be doing some fun stuff with the Camaro. Uh, dropping it down a little bit and some other stuff. So that'll keep you guys occupied. I hope uh, I think that's it. Check us out bsforbuild.com facebook.com slash bsforbuild and hashtag bsforbuild on Instagram Please remember to like and subscribe on YouTube. It's a big help. Thank you all for the comments It's been very inspiring and helps me keep moving on this stuff Thank you very much for watching. I'm stoked. I'm rocket bunnied You need to go home get one of these and get your own rocket bunniness Thanks for watching. Peace.